Hey guys, Nicole here, and today I'm doing a super cool video for you, simple and lazy diet hacks. When Kyle and I first started losing weight, we needed all food to be tasty and appealing. Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each. Kyle's the husband dude behind the camera, by the way, for the new friends. Hi. <laughs> and we have kept it off. This is our seventh year in our weight loss fitness journey. And we owe a lot of keeping it off and staying on track to these tasty things right here. In the very beginning, we knew this couldn't be a fad diet to change our lives. We knew it needed to be a lifestyle change, but we also were not ready to give up the foods that we loved. And we're still not. No. So we found some really cool, easy, simple, lazy, whatever you want to call them, hacks to make us really enjoy our food, to look forward to eating. These things kept us on track in the beginning of our weight loss journey and they're keeping us on track now when we eat super clean six days a week and on the seventh we usually have a treat day to make it there we utilize these things so i'm gonna go into one of our like major favorites first jello if you have a sweet tooth and you love dessert if you look for the one that says only five calories per cup or sugar free, whatever it is in your city that you're living, we live in Canada. So here, if you find the five calories per cup, no sugar added one, they come in where we find them at our local Zares, strawberry and lime. These are amazing. One cup is five calories. It has no fat, no carbs, and no sugar. So you can enjoy something like this. And what we do is to make it extra special, we top it with this low fat, 95% fat free Cool Whip. And there is two grams of sugar, five carbs, half of fat and 25 calories. In three tablespoons, you get quite a bit. And because the jello is so low, we actually have two each with the Cool Whip. And it tastes really like a great dessert. So when we're craving sweets during the week, this is what we go for. Cool Whip, fat-free Cool Whip and Jello, sugar-free. This is for friends that love carbs but want to eat a bit lower in carb like we did and you also love sweet stuff. Rice cakes are amazing. Most of them are gluten-free and they're whole grain, most brands. So these ones are the caramel corn and they're the Quaker crispy mini ones even though they're clearly not many. <laughs> Friends, 50 calories, no fat, 11 carbs, and three grams of sugar. So you get basically caramel corn in a way lower carb, lower sugar, no fat version. We bought the popcorn flavor in these, the white cheddar. These keep us going when we need a sweet treat or a salty one. And if you're looking for the flavored rice cakes and you've never tried any, trust us on those three flavors. They're the best. The white cheddar, the caramel corn, and the butter, right? Yes, and the butter. It's butter popcorn. And I just thought of a, a, a bonus tip for you. When we were going to the movies, when we were first losing weight, we bought the butter popcorn flavor ones and brought them to the theater. Shh. We snuck them in in our purse, but mostly my purse. <laughs> <laughs> and they taste, friends, exactly like movie popcorn. So we didn't feel like we were missing out. So get a big purse and get those. Next, this is like one that we're using right now that we really love. I'm a major chocolate fan and sometimes I crave chocolate during the week. Guess what? Krista chocolatey chips. They are stevia sweetened chocolate chips. Whoever made these, hug, high five, you're the best. <laughs> you put some of those in your oatmeal, oh yeah. You know what I do? I put them in my plain fat-free Greek yogurt, this stuff right here, because when you control what you put in, you can keep the carbs, sugar, and fat down. So we buy the plain fat-free Greek yogurt and we flavor it up. 
When you put these babies in, I put two teaspoons in half a cup. You get your chocolatey fix without the sugar. So for one tablespoon, and I only use two teaspoons, it's four and a half grams of fat, 54 calories, zero sugar, two sugar alcohols, and nine carbs. So I use way less than that. And so it's barely anything for a chocolate fix. And if you're looking for these type of things, like the sugar-free chocolate chips or whatever, look in your grocery store, but go, go in the health food, the organic or the diet or the Good vitamin, the, the specialty aisles will have those there. Yes. If they're gonna have them. Yes. And these came from Zares, but I've also heard of the friends commenting under our videos saying they've picked them up on Amazon. So you can also check there. Okay, this is another huge staple that we've used from the very beginning. Gum is coming in so many different flavors now. If you have a craving for something, they literally have like lemon pie, apple pie, watermelon, whatever you're craving, you can go get it in the form of sugar-free gum. So we always keep gum on hand in really cool flavors. And they're really very low in carbs and sugar and there's generally no fat in them. So this one is Trident Vibes Rhyme, rhyme Rhythm, I don't know, Tropical. <laughs> it tastes like peach. So if you like peach rings or fuzzy peaches, get this stuff, it's really good. One piece, five calories, no fat, one carb, no sugar, one sugar alcohol. That's it for a little treat. And this one is Mentos Pure Fresh. It is a newer flavor for us in Canada. Honey Crisp Apple. We just had a piece to test it for you before we got on camera. This stuff really tastes like what it says. Now we would, we would never advocate that you never have a real piece of apple pie. No. But, but. the bridge, the gap, the bridge gapper, the gap bridger. Yes, if you're wanting if you plan to have a treat and it's not your day, like us, we have one specific day, four treats, and the rest of the days we eat clean. Or if you already had a treat and you wanna stay eating clean the rest of the week, this will help you get your fix without actually eating the pie. And yes, Kyle is right. We're not saying never eat the real thing because we always made sure we gave ourselves the real thing, but you, choose when to have it and in smaller doses or increments, whatever you want to say. So, you know, treats, generally we had a couple times a week in portioned servings. Because if I could get away with it, I'd be eating pizza and pie and I'd be eating that every day, but I can't get away with it. This girl too. <laughs> like Nicole with the chocolate. Yeah. So these are, they're like Kyle said, they're bridges to get you to having a portion treat a couple times a week. Because when you're first transitioning from eating whatever you want, not portioning, it's a huge shock to the system to go full on organic, healthy, everything. And we're normal people, so we, when we tried that, it just didn't work. No, so what we did was we did portion control for everything. We didn't change what we were eating. We would choose healthier versions and that's why we turned to all of these things because they helped us feel like we were getting the full version all the time. And a couple times a week, about two to three, we had treats in portion until we lost the majority of our weight and now we have a cheat day. But in the beginning, it was portion treats a couple times a week and utilizing these things throughout the week. And we still use lots of these now. Uh, pretty much all of it, really. And these right now, this is my favorite. If you're ever like, if you love McDonald's egg McMuffins, I make my own version and, and a cute person online called it the Nick Muffin <laughs> and they're genius. And so I take a whole egg, two egg whites, a whole wheat English muffin. I make my eggs, I toast the English muffin. I pop one of these babies on here, fat free cheese slice. You're not gonna want for nothing. It really doesn't feel like you're missing out. I love my breakfast. I look forward, I do fasted cardio to eat my breakfast. <laughs> I love this breakfast. And I'm not really a huge egg person. This sandwich makes me love eggs. 
this really makes me feel like I'm eating McDonald's every day and it's a total like clean, well, clean-ish. This is a little process, but you know, pick your battles. Makes me feel like I'm having a party every day. Those Nick muffins are excellent. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> Next thing, we love this. This is Hershey's cocoa powder. It is completely natural, 100% unsweetened cocoa powder. It's for baking. There's literally like half a fat, three carbs, no sugar, in a full tablespoon. We use one teaspoon in our cottage cheese with a tablespoon of peanut butter, and it makes it taste like a mousse, really, like a and peanut butter chocolate mousse. You can make anything chocolate with this, and you just add a little yep. bit of no calorie sweetener to that, yep. and you got chocolate desserts all over the place. I put this sometimes in my Greek yogurt. Like I said, we flavor it ourselves. You could put it into the fat-free Cool Whip to make chocolate Cool Whip. We, I've made chocolate oatmeal in the morning. Yep, chocolate oatmeal. I make chocolate waffles, chocolate pancakes with eggs and oats, all using this. And it is a little bitter, so you will want to sweeten it out a little bit with some no-calorie yes. sweetener. Yes, because it is there is no sugar it's, in it. It's just cocoa. Yes, and I always like make French toast with sprouted grain bread in the morning, and I'm always like, I used to eat powdered sugar on my French toast, Guess what? There's a sugar-free version. Swerve makes a sugar-free powdered sugar or icing sugar. This is also found in the health section, diet section, gluten-free, whatever that it's called at your grocery store. Check it out there. You can also get it on Amazon. There is for one teaspoon, no calories, no fat, no sugar, and three carbs. So this is really good. I literally just take a little pinch, sprinkle it on my French toast. It's so good. It, it actually tastes like the real thing. Pop. Let me tell you about pop. Okay. <laughs> when we first started, I was 275 pounds. I was drinking seven full sugar Dr. Peppers a day. So as you probably know, if you're a pop lover, it made it very difficult to transition from drinking that much full sugar pop. And I didn't know what to replace it with. And I discovered diet pop. Making the switch to that was a huge difference. Just changing from full sugar pop to diet pop, I was dropping weight really quickly just making that change. So. There are so many flavors, like right now we love Coke Zero. We also have the cherry Coke Zero and the vanilla Coke Zero here. You can literally find like a ton, and I know the States has way more than Canada does, so you can find your favorite pop flavors in the diet version, which they're all basically sugar-free um, and no calories. I think Diet Mountain Dew is the only one that we didn't realize has like five calories or something. So, if you're a person who's not a fan of chemicals and stuff in the diet pop or and the sweeteners, sweeteners, yeah. There there's also something out there called bubbly, which is basically just a sparkling water that's naturally flavored. So bubbly will tell you no calories, no sweetener, and it's there's no artificial anything in it. It's natural flavor, and there is, I'll show you the back, literally nothing in it. Cherry is our favorite, but it comes in lime, strawberry, I think like, I wanna say watermelon or something. Grapefruit. Grapefruit, grapefruit. And there's a whole bunch of other, orange. There's a ton of flavors, so that's another option as well. We also, I don't know that this one is all natural, but there's also a Fresca version, and this is the black cherry citrus, and we love these just the same. They are really delicious. And I know like drinking pop was such a big part of our life. It took up a lot of our day. So to go cold turkey and just never have pop again was not an option that would have worked that we could have sustained for both of us. So we found ones in the diet version that we really liked. Yeah. and. Even now, there are days where I want something sweet and we'll go, you wanna have a pop with dinner? And it, it works. It makes dinner taste so much better. Because me and Nicole carb cycle, so on our low carb days, we sometimes need a pick-me-up. And that is our pick-me-up. On low carb days, I look forward to something like Jello and pop 
diet pop because we're not really having any carbs. So it's like, oh yeah, you get treats. <laughs> That's what it's like. We're still little kids, basically. So let me tell you something else. In Canada, we don't have the spray butter that's low calorie that the States has. So we discovered that butter flavored cooking spray tastes like butter. I spray it on, if I'm making veggies in roasting them for meal prep, I spray it before I make pancakes or waffles. Uh, when I make potatoes or, or rice even, you can spray it on anything to get that butter flavor. And another thing that we used to do when we were craving carbs and we wanted a portioned snack and we were craving like a chip or a popcorn or something, we would buy the fat free or as low fat as we could get microwave popcorn. This one for half a bag, which is about six cups of popcorn, is two grams of fat, 26 carbs, no sugar. Six and, cups of and popcorn. 120 calories it's for a, half the bag. Trust us, it's a big serving, like it's enough. It's huge. Yeah. And we actually used to eat only four cups instead of six. It, it You can eat the whole six if you want. It's a really good um, amount of calories and stuff. Spray it with this and season it with some of these things. So there's this Molly McButter, it's butter flavored sprinkles for five calories. We literally just discovered this the other day at Sobeys in Canada. And for one teaspoon, it's five calories, one carb, nothing else in it, a little bit of sodium, that's it. And you know, I put this in my egg, my Nick muffin, it actually gives you butter flavor. I really like this stuff. So you can sprinkle that on your popcorn if you want. But there's also these, which are amazing. Kernels, popcorn seasonings. And don't just stop at flavoring your popcorn with it. Flavor your vegetables, flavor um, potatoes, rice, soup, anything. Flavor with these because for a third of a teaspoon, there's no sugar, no carbs, no calories, and a little bit of sodium, 65 milligrams, that's it. So you can do like half a teaspoon, sprinkle the baby on there and have cheddar flavor, dill pickle. They've, they've got other like not white cheddar, like the orange cheddar, they have a ton of flavors. In Canada, we have ketchup flavored kernels too. So get one of those, you will love everything you eat. And remember, um like popcorn was a lifesaver for us and yes. we invented an Italian style popcorn, microwave popcorn, and we would spray it and then put some Italian seasoning on it and a little bit of light Parmesan cheese and yep. then um, we would broil it or roast it in the oven for a little bit. It was a lifesaver. Yeah. It really was. But if you don't want to do all that work, pop this, sprinkle some white cheddar on there, spray some spray, cooking spray, butter flavor, a beautiful snack. If you want, like, you know that smart food out there, you can make it's your smart. own version with that white cheddar. Yeah, even lower calorie, because it's called smart food, but actually has quite a bit of fat in it. So you can make your own way, way low fat version. Yeah. Next, these things, sugar-free syrups, these are gonna save your life. Like, if, if you're looking for any one thing, these, we use these in everything. You know like Frank's Red Hot, like I put that on everything? We put these on everything. <laughs> let me tell you about this. I like saying that, let me tell you about this. Mrs. Butterworth. In Canada, we don't really get completely sugar-free unless it's the Walden Farms, but this one for us tastes much better. This is way better. This is no sugar added Mrs. Butterworth. We get this at our Zayers. In Canada, I'm sure you can get it many Look places. in your grocery store, there'll be tons of maple syrups like without sugar in the States. I'm okay, sure. let's tell the friends about this beautiful thing. For a quarter cup, not a tablespoon, not a teaspoon, a quarter cup, 20 calories, no fat, eight carbs, no sugar, one fiber, eight sugar alcohols, baby. And I only use a tablespoon, and so does Kylie Bear if, behind the camera. If you're making the if you're making the Colette waffles, the Colette pancakes, you gotta have this stuff too. You know what else? You oh, let me tell you another bonus. You're welcome. 
Um, <laughs> Settle down. A tablespoon of this and half a cup of this fat-free Greek yogurt make our protein pancake with the oats and top it with the, with the maple flavored yogurt and some berries. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, you will, you will love us. <laughs> we discovered these. Um, I want to tell you because we get asked all the time where we get these from. Marshalls or winners. And they're called skinny Jordan skinny syrups. These come in amazing flavors and you want to know a bonus? They come in seasonal flavors too. So we picked up a pack of these skinny syrups. It was a pack of pumpkin flavored ones for the fall. So we've got pumpkin um caramel. Sorry. Yeah. That I was reading upside down. Sorry, guys. Pumpkin spice, pumpkin caramel, and pumpkin cheesecake, and they are um, all excellent. They're all really good, and they're um. Blah, blah, blah. Sorry, it came in a box, and the nutrition stuff was on the box. But I'll tell you on this one, which is the donut flavored one. This is glazed donut. So, two tablespoons you can have of this stuff. No calories, no fat. No carbs, no protein, no sodium. And in my healthy yogurt, uh, fruit, granola bowl, I only need one tablespoon. I don't even use two tablespoons. I'll even top you that. In half a cup of this, I put one teaspoon and it is strong enough to flavor get, a half a cup. And that's the thing, guys. Get creative with all this stuff. If you're trying it and you're starting to diet and you're like, oh, I'm going to miss out. These things are so versatile. Everything mm -hmm. we've shown here can be very versatile. Use it in the way you like in your own recipes or... Protein shakes. Things that you might not even want to try. Like you're kind of scared about cottage cheese or yogurt yeah, or, whatever, or the yogurt. Greek yogurt. Yeah. Everything. Smoothies. Protein shakes. You flavor your oats with it, Pan protein pancakes, protein waffles. You can make your own like low calorie muffins, anything by flavoring it with those. So all of these things, we use the majority of these on a regular basis. We use these pretty much every single day when we were starting out. And I just want to answer one question that we get quite often. Why all the processed stuff? Why all the stuff with chemicals? Aren't you worried about chemicals and sweeteners? And we will answer with this. We learned one very important lesson on this road, this fitness journey, weight loss journey, whatever you wanna call it, pick your battles. That's what we learned. If these things were keeping us on track, which they were, we let go of the worry about chemicals. We needed sweeteners. to get the weight off in the beginning. And we the other thing, it. a lot of people, because we're showing all of our diet hacks in one video, a lot of people will take this out of context. Keep in mind, like we might have one or two diet pops per week. Yes. We might use, you know, one tablespoon of the flavorings or, you know, a teaspoon of the cocoa powder, one or two gums per week. It's not, you know, Hands shoving these, day. yeah, shoving these things in every single day. Yeah, like to, to, if we knew we were going to the movies on a weekend, we would take, you know, a couple of rice cakes and split a bag of popcorn. It would be a treat. You know, smuggle it in your purse to the theater and that was it you know that was a treat so don't take it out of context this is not yeah. like eat all of these in one sitting no and it's a sprinkle and i you know i use it a couple times a week and the same with all of these things i use the syrup a teaspoon every day but it is again everything was portioned and just like your regular treats in small doses so you know choose a couple that you like and use them you know, each day pick something different that you like. It's not about going ham on it. It's about using it to help you love what you're eating and to keep you on track. Yeah. And again, another tip is we never took away any food groups and we, we ate a balanced diet. Everything was portioned though. And we used the servings on the back of packages to help us learn about portion control and serving size. The other thing we never did was take away treats fully. If we were craving something like, you know, ice cream really, really badly, we would give ourselves the ice cream 
once a week or whatever, but we would read the serving size on the back of the container and have that size of serving. So, I hope that did help you guys. That's all of our current tricks. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Guess what, guys? What? You want some more of these tips and weight loss tips and question and answer stuff and want to see pictures of the muscles Whoa. and pictures of us and Whoa. Well, I got a solution. Instagram! Check us out. We're doing this and this and this. I'm showing you a whole bunch of cool stuff. Get on there now. I don't know what you're doing with your life if you're not. And don't forget to click the bell so that you get notifications when we put out videos. I know you don't want to miss it. I know you'll be sad and crying in your room. <laughs> in your room? Yeah. So don't cry in your room. Hit the bell. Yeah. Okay? And don't forget to like and subscribe a lot. Or what? The Papa Lies of Doom. You but know. there can't. <laughs> I was gonna correct you and then I had a thought in my head, it doesn't e really even matter at this point. What the? They're scary. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. She's gone. Oh, she's back.